Freedom. How do you give people the freedom to pursue their dreams? Prosperity. How do you allow people to take charge of their own prosperity? Recession and recovery. How do we rebuild this economy? How can Wall Street and Main Street prosper? Healthcare. Should government be in the healthcare business? What economic policies promote employment and entrepreneurship? How do you adjust to challenging times and yet take advantage of the opportunities around you? Barry Asmus was a professor, syndicated radio host, and is an acclaimed author. He is currently a senior economist for the National Center for Policy Analysis. He has a deep love of economics and the free market economy and inspires people to make America a better place. Freedom matters. Here we are, well into the 21st century, and half of the world's population makes less than $2 a day. Three billion people on this planet have never used a telephone. And if we would travel the world, what we would see more than we'd want to see is so many folks barefoot, following an ox cart, uploading for a living instead of downloading for a living. How could this be? Barry has helped me understand the importance of the free market. Uh, I think we take things for granted that, that we just live in on a day-to-day -day basis. America is an idea, it's plain and simple. America is an idea. It's an idea that's never been tried in the history of the world. It's an idea that says that the individual is more important than government. The individual is more important than government. That's the idea. Barry's great belief in the small business, in the small businessman and the small businesswoman, being a part of the economic engine that's going to pull uh, not only this country, but really the global business uh, into the right direction. When you've got the advantage of someone who's really picked the issue apart and can put it forward in hard-nosed economic reality and not couch it all, in politics or emotion, clarity is the result. And once again, that's, that's what I admire this, about this man so much, his ability to bring clarity from chaos. So all of a sudden, we have bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Oil going to $140 a barrel. Steel going from $300 a metric ton to $1,200 a metric ton. Corn going from $2.50 a bushel to $8.50 a bushel. And I could go on and on. Bubbles. The main job of the Federal Reserve System is to watch for bubbles. And when those bubbles begin to emerge, you begin to pop those bubbles. Barry gives you a sense of where we're going and where we've come from. Uh, he has a sense of the greatness of this country and a tremendous optimism about the future of this country. The reality is, Barry's message is still a minority message. Even, even when we've all watched and seen how, uh, how the free market works, free market principles work, you, you'd, you'd be surprised at how, you know, how it's still an upward battle. I love America and the freedom we enjoy. But lately, our country has been asked to embrace change, change that we can believe in. It is a critical time for us to make the right choices on taxes, trade, energy, and health care. I believe that real change can only come from allowing people to be creative and allowing people to keep the fruits of their labor, of moving towards free markets and less government and lower taxes, towards a competitive healthcare system without a public option, and towards exploring all energy options, including nuclear and natural gas. Freedom and capitalism are two sides of the same coin. America's always been about individual freedom and individual responsibility.